Okay, everyone. So we're going to have a little bit of a chat about 1UZ sumps. Now, people used to say that there are three kinds of sumps. There was a front sump, and a rear sump, and a mid sump. It's not actually quite correct. There's also a four-wheel drive sump, and that's in the four-wheel drive cars, like your Aristos. And there was a 2UZ sump, which is Land Cruiser, which is offset. And they're actually quite cool. If you're doing a Land Cruiser, if you can get a 2UZ sump, they fit in like your 70 series Land Cruisers, your 80s, really, really well. Because they sort of came out of those chassis. Um, so the very first 1UZs had a mid sump. This is the last bit of the lower pan that we had from a mid sump. And um, basically the, the sump isn't much wider than the block. Most of them, they, they come out quite a lot wider than the block. But that was, that's the lowest, that's a mid sump pan. I don't have any of them left. Haven't seen one for a little while. Though a mate's got one sitting in a shed. Um, so, the, the first of the, the main sump we see is the front sump, which is this one. And this is off an early, so uh, your Gen 1, Gen 2. Uh, there's no bridge at the back. We've got 8mm uh, bolt 6, or 3 each side, 8mm um, holes. And then we've got 6mm holes in the side of the sump. And that is quite similar to the first of the rear sumps as well. You'll see the pan, People like, a lot of people call this a mid sump, but it isn't. The pan, with our measuring tape here, with the measure, is about 100 mils from the back. A, a mid sump's actually about another 20 mils further forward. So rear sump of a Sora or SC400, 100 mils to the flange. It's actually a little bit further, it's like 118 to the pan itself. Both of the early front sump and the rear sump have the 6mm mounting holes. Um, we'll go around the other side and have a look. So the pickup on the early ones, and the very, very early ones, has the big pickup. And there's the rear sump. There's a rear sump pickup. So that's the, the, big, the, um, the big gauze. The Gen 2s, some of them had the smaller pickup like the VVTIs, which is, is that series there. The, the dipstick, so a couple of different dipsticks and I try to get match sets. This one I'm going to have to get a new dipstick, but it's very like the VVTIs. Some of them have wire instead of the, the metal, like that. In the rear sump, they're very, very distinctive is they had the big plastic bit up them. Um, and it's got the, the cabling on it. So that is a, a rear sump dipstick. The, the other sumps we've got and is your VVTI front sump. And as you can see, this is the VVTI front sump. Slightly different in its design. It's got a bridge through the back. It's got some ribbing here. And it's got the bigger holes all the way through. Um, and they're longer bolts. In the rear sump, and this is a rear sump off a 3UZ, no bridge in the back. It's got a cutout bowl with a lower pan, the steel pan is cut out. Inside it's got um, some more support and it's got a small baffle. Help if I put it on the right way. It's got a couple of mounts at the front. And it's got its bolts are much shorter in here compared to the front sump. So if you're putting this sump on, um, now this will fit on fine for the early motors. But if you're putting an early rear sump onto a onto a late VVTI engine, then you have to grab your drill and drill out some holes. Okay, and that's pretty pretty straightforward and find some suitable bolts. So. Early front sump, no bridge, pan all the way at the front. Later front sump, it's got the bridge and some ribbing. Early rear sump, it's got the full pan. And the small bolt holes. 
And later rear sump, you'll also notice um, the, the pan comes further forward. I'll probably give you that measurement too. So from the pan flange to the front, you're looking at about 175, whereas the, the, the early rear sump is uh, closer to 215. So I hope that's helpful when you're choosing which sump to run on your engines and the options that are available.